Hey, my beautiful people, welcome back to Cat Karma Lust. Well, yeah, that's my damn channel. <laughs> but anyway, so we're gonna jump right into this tutorial once again. So I just gelled down my edges using my edge control from Style Factor and I'm just putting on a basic ass wig cap and using my bold hold glue. It's like my all time favorite glue for the meltdown. So this video is about how to fix a balding lace front. So I usually get my wigs and I have them for a while and they start, y'all ladies know what I'm talking about. It starts to bald in the front and around the edges. That's not a good look. That shit don't look cute. So we're going to fix it. So I'm just going to pull a little bit in front of my hairline and use my razor to cut it. I'm cutting it in a jacket motion. Sorry, y'all really couldn't see <laughs> the way I was cutting it, but y'all get what I'm saying. All right, so I'm just doing it in a jacket motion so it can blend better with my skin. And y'all see me struggling here. I gotta use my tweezers because my nails are too long. Just make a few dots around my hairline. I don't want to put too much glue because I don't plan on keeping this wig on for long. I need my hair and my skin to breathe because I just took a wig off prior to this video. So I'm planning on taking it off very soon. I only did one layer of glue, by the way. Ugh, it has been a hectic holiday. How y'all holiday been? Let me know in the comments below how your Christmas went. Or you, if you celebrate Christmas, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. I'm sorry I wasn't able to upload after Christmas, obviously, because I was spending time with my family. Who wasn't? So I didn't have enough time to be trying to record anything. <laughs> so I'm so sorry about this late put out of this video. But it's cool. I'm at least have this up by New Year, so we're, we're headed to a good start this year. I'm just cutting off my excess lace around my ears because it, it was a little too long on one side. My hairline looked like one of them kung fu fighters off of those Chinese movies. <laughs> Their hairline thick as shit. So I gotta re-pluck my hairline to thin it out again because I cut it so far back. That is basically a new hairline. Alright, so I went ahead and sped up my video a bit because it was hella long. And I'm not trying to sit here and watch a 20 minute video of me just plucking my hair. <laughs> Nobody wants to see all that. So I'm not going to pluck a lot, just a little because I overdid it last time I did this front tool and that's why it balled it so quickly, which was my, my mistake. So I'm going to make sure this time around not to do that. Now I'm just using some mousse just to smooth out my edges. And then I'm going to use the Eco Styler Gel. I know a lot of people don't use this and I don't know why. But it's water based but it doesn't lift my lace for some reason. But then again before you put extra product on your lace after it's glued down. You're supposed to let your glue dry all the way. Not halfway. Not 95% all the way because if not you're gonna have some lifting once you put anything water based on it and i think i learned i forgot who i learned putting eco style gel on edges if so i'll let i'll tag her in the description box below i 
I'm just gonna get my raggedy ass hot comb. I always save my raggedy ass hot comb because it was like $14 and it's only one setting, which is 500, which is scorching. <laughs> so I can't have it on for more than like 10 minutes or it's just gonna melt my whole entire hair and my lace and everything. So I have to be very careful and I still gotta buy a new one. I'll get one off Amazon real soon. But until then, it does the job. I'm just trying to flatten it out. It's a little bit puffy at the top and around my part. I will be putting some product right back on top of it anyway. But I just need to get that as flat as possible because I was looking like a cone head and that's not cute. Damn, this take it forever. <laughs> Sorry, I suck at voiceovers, y'all. I really do. Oof. So I do plan on making a video on how I film my videos because I get a lot of people ask me what camera do I film with. Y'all, child, let me tell you, I film with my iPhone 6S, like, bruh, ancient, vintage, do you feel me? The shit is old, but it works. <laughs> but that is what I film with, and I have to record on 4K, so I do use 4K at 3, is it 30 something? minutes per second or some shit like that but i do film in 4k just to get the highest quality i can possible but i'll do a later video about how i film and how i edit and stuff like that and the apps and everything that i used for my setup well i'm just making sure that my edges is laid honey and this wig by the way it is by, I'm mad I didn't say where the wig is from. This wig is from Wig Encounters. They sent me this curly bob earlier this year. Um, I've worn it a lot actually, especially if you follow me on Instagram, which is at Cat Carmeless. So make sure to follow me on that. And yeah, I've been wearing this wig for about six, seven months now. And I absolutely love it. It's easy to maintain. Just throw it on my head and go. Throw some water in it, comb it through with my fingers, and boom, boom. It's just so convenient. Instead of long hair down my back, hot. Mm -mm. Ain't got time for that. But I just added some mousse all through my hair. And I gotta cut the front right here because it's a little bit too long and it was driving me crazy. So I had to cut it off. trying to lay these edges in a hurry actually because y'all can't hear obviously but my baby in the background crying <laughs> so i'm glad i'm doing this voiceover because i don't want to hear him crying it breaks my heart all right so my hair is looking cute very luscious very wet looking i love the curly wet look give me a thumbs up if you like that curly wet look also make sure to subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up leave a comment below if you have any questions and i'll just make sure to keep the ball rolling on these videos honey do you feel me but i'm just feeling myself it's so cute all right so thank y'all for tuning in and make sure to stay tuned for my next upload. I'll see y'all later. Bye.